Hi everybody, welcome to story time. My name is Miss Wong and I'm the teacher librarian at Jose Ortega Elementary School. Today I'm going to share a story with you. The title of the story is Rabbit and the Motorbike. The author is Kate Hofler and the illustrator is Sarah Jacoby. I'm reading to you with permission from Chronicle Books. Rabbit lived in a quiet field of wheat that he never left, not even once, even though there was a road, and even though he dreamed he did every night. Every night. But Dog would visit. Dog was too old and sick to leave the field now. But he has spent most of his life going all over the country on his motorbike. And he loved telling stories about the places he felt most alive, where he howled at the moon. Dog made Rabbit feel that wherever he'd been, Rabbit had been there right with him. Rabbit loved Dog. The world is beautiful, Dog would say, if you were brave enough to see it. Even new places can feel like long lost friends. Every day was filled with a good story by Dog. Every day until the day it was filled with a bad one and Rabbit's field was quiet again. The days were wheat. Dog was no longer there. Except for one day when he heard a not quiet sound. Rabbit didn't know why Dog would leave his motorbike to him since he didn't go anywhere. He hoped the bike would like not going anywhere. On days Rabbit collected carrots, the motorbike collected leaves. But not for long. The wind always carried the leaves to far away places. When birds made nests in its spokes, there was bird song, but it was a life quieter than a bird's, and the birds always left. One night, when Rabbit was in the mood for a story, he brought the motorbike in. But it didn't tell Rabbit any stories, and Rabbit had none to tell it. So. They just listened to the distant sounds of the highway. When summer came, everything was growing and blooming. Even the road blossomed out. Rabbit and the motorbike stayed planted on the porch. because I'm scared, he told it one night, as if it had asked a question. When Rabbit slept, he heard the long howl of its engine in his dreams, a beautiful howl. Okay, he said softly to the bike one afternoon, just down the road, but roads are long. Rabbit forgot that. Quite long. Long roads took him to where the giant redwoods were, where Rabbit was the wind that carried the leaves. And by the sea, where birdsong whirled, 
where all the birds wanted to fly like rabbit. And through the Mojave Desert, where rabbit howled at the moon, where he felt wild and wondrous and full of stories. Wherever they went, rabbit and the motorbike were the distant sound of the highway that others heard. And rabbit felt dog right there with him. The heart can sing like that. Certain rows take all summer to get back to a field of wheat. Rabbit notice, especially on a motorbike. But this road eventually did. And when it did, the days were wheat again. But there were also motorbike and wings and stories. Stories that kept old friends and new right there with him. What a wonderful story about being brave. Like Rabbit, you have been brave learning at home. Before your school closed, you always had your teacher next to your side teaching you new things. Look at how you have been able to do all this learning by yourself with the support of your teachers and family these last couple of weeks. Keep on being brave and learning new things, okay? You can do it.